Hey everybody and welcome to the lounge. All my fellow loungers, chillers, bowlers, and grillers, and gamers. Today, I am going to be doing a reaction video on Jesse's video. I have been getting tweets all day today asking me to do a reaction to this video. I have not seen this, I promise you. Uh, this is the first time, so I am going to watch this and, uh, and we'll see what happens. So, I have to take my glasses off because it's a close distance, so I'm going to do that. So... I am going to start it now. Ah! Dang it! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I had to yell something since I'm in this room right now. Juggies, juggies, juggies. Hey there, juggies. Zero Pound Experience here. Why am I in the psychopath room right now? Gosh, this is a... Look, guys, this whole video, I know I've been sitting down to talk with you guys a lot, but this whole entire video, I'm trying not to cut up too much. I'm just going to have diarrhea of the mouth. Boogie does these rambling type videos. I've seen YouTubers do the sit down talk video. And this is my sit down talk video. Um, so, God, this feels like a breakup. This feels like a breakup. It's not a breakup, guys. It's like in the relationship where you're like, hey, I want to take a break. It's not, it's not you, it's me. Like, legitimately, it's not you guys, it's me. There's something wrong with me. Um, this is probably the most 100% genuine video I'll ever film. Um, please, I really hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. I'm about to talk for, like, 20 minutes, so I hope you're willing to stick around and hear me out. I have been doing YouTube for almost 11 years now. Started in 2006 when I was 14. Um, for my very first seven or eight years, I only ever had 200 subscribers. In the last two, three years, I've gained three and a half million, almost one and a half billion views, and it's been incredible. And I thank you guys, and I say I love you in every video, and I, and I, I still mean it to this day. However, recently, oh my God, guys, if I legitimately cry in this video, I apologize. Um, I miss the Psycho series. I really do. And it hasn't started hitting me really until the past six, seven months. And just being in this room filming this video is making me extremely emotional. Um, I don't expect you guys to fully understand. I know a lot of you guys missed the series. But for me, that was not only my child, but it was something I lived and breathed for many years with everybody in my family being the cast. So, like... Part of me actually shot my dad, and, and part of me was yelling at my dad, and, and part of me still thinks my parents split up. And, and you know, playing all these characters, I think, has kind of fucked me up a little bit mentally. Like, I, I don't feel all there, but I don't think I ever was, so that's, that's, that's totally fine. Um, but recently we did The Devil Inside, and Isaac was kind of like a depressed character, and I think... And although this might be the most real video, guys, over the last 11 years, you guys know me, I think, better than anybody, because although I was playing characters and telling stories, you guys saw straight into my soul and my heart with all the, all of my work, and um, you've seen an expression of my feelings, which is more than you'll get from most YouTubers. So this is kind of me, real me, verbalizing it. Um, so what is the point of this video? Well, guys, I, I am a bit burnt out and it's not that i don't have like crazy awesome like creative ideas and i'm super excited about them i'm just for whatever reason i i need a break and uh it's not really a bad thing it's not like i'm leaving youtube or anything i i, I want you guys to know i am 100 percent committed to you 100% loyal to YouTube as a platform. I have every the YouTube has made me who I am today and you guys as viewers have been there for me when times have been tough and have made this a career for me. Like so during the psycho series, I sacrificed my health. I had my my spleen injury which was an adhesion and I had to get surgery for it last year. I had sacrificed my health for a year and a half just doing two episodes a day, two episodes a day, two episodes a day. I lost a lot of friendships because I was working so much. I became distant with a lot of other people that I've since had to try and mend those relationships. And it was all just to tell my story and to tell it to you guys to hopefully help you. And I sacrificed a lot. Um, and obviously just the emotional burden of having to act that stuff out. Um, and I was stressing myself out, freaking out, you know. Uh, doing two episodes of storytelling a day is a lot and then not giving myself enough time to reflect and give myself a break afterwards, I jumped 
right into more series and more series and more series and daily videos, daily episodes, daily episodes. And and one thing I noticed, guys, it's really hard. Um, it's really hard for me to think long term, to think long run my life when every day I'm like, what the f am I filming? What on earth am I filming today? It's I I'm always short sighted and while trying to maintain a big picture of the story, but I, I'm not thinking about my life anymore. I, I'm literally uh, living to work when I feel like I should be working to live. And, and like I said, my health has been sacrificed, my friendships and my relationships, and that's not healthy. Um, in the last six, seven months, that's why I've been doing every other day videos, so I could get a little bit of my life back. Um, and I've been really, really healthy recently, and that's been great. However, when it comes to making videos, like I just started daily vlogging again, but I hate to say it, guys, that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna do daily videos. I, I realize something about myself. If there's no story, I don't care. If there's no heart to it, if there's no substance, is there, if there's no point to filming, I'm not just gonna film my day. Like other YouTubers, God bless them. They're totally different people than I, and there's nothing wrong with that. They can film their lives. They might live more interesting lives, and they might go out and do things just for the vlog, and they're telling a little bit of a story too, but of their real life. For me, I like to live in escape world fantasy land and tell all kinds of like weird complex stories, some some not so much, and just whatever I want to do. Um, and, and I have to remember that. I didn't get on YouTube for fame. I didn't get on for money. And all I did was I was a curious 14 year old who wanted to tell stories. And I did that. And uh, I see a lot of you guys in, in me. I, I know there's a lot of storytellers out there. I know there's a lot of creative juggies, and um, I encourage that wholeheartedly. But I kind of lost myself. I was still telling stories, but right now we're not in a story. We're not in a story. We're in an intermission. Um, and there's stuff coming, but for right now, I want a vacation. <laughs> That's all this is. This is a big build-up to me saying... I want a fucking vacation, <laughs> and, and I'm not asking for your permission, you know, I, I don't want to seem like I'm a slave to you guys, um, but I, I just want you guys to understand, so it's not like I just left, you know, I don't want to be a YouTuber that just left, left you guys high and dry in the dark, and it's like, wow, he doesn't give a shit about you guys, that's what's the hardest thing for me, is I, I'm the type of person, god, I'm gonna fucking break down, I'm the type of person that feels guilty if I leave you guys, because I care about you so much, and I don't want to feel that way. And it's to the point where if I'm not telling stories to you guys, I feel like I'm not being good enough. I'm not good enough. Um, so I realized it's not good. And I need to I need to get to a point where where I don't feel guilt because because I, I thought about it. What am I doing YouTube till I'm 80? I'm going to do YouTube till I'm 80. And, and then when, when am I ever going to get that break? You know what I'm saying? Like, I can always come up with the excuse, well, I have the juggies, they're counting on me, they're counting on me, and I'm 24 years old, and there's there's places I want to see, and, and, and people I want to talk to, and things I want to do while still doing YouTube, and, and, and to be able to do all these things, I need to pull back my schedule a little bit. So, what I'm saying is, I want to get back to who I was when I first started YouTube. And it's an exciting thing. It's a good thing, guys. And this will help me so much. Because trust me, you don't want me to half-ass videos. You don't want the recent couple vlogs. Although the one was kind of motivating. You don't, you already seen my life. I, I work out and then I, I, I write stuff and it, it's generally boring. But I need to do what like a writer does. A glorified author. He, he disappears for like a year or something. And, and writes the biggest, best, best-selling novel ever. But he needs to isolate himself and he needs time to reflect and meditate and become a better human being um, and to learn from his experience. Because to be honest, I haven't had that reflection time. And I think that's why, you know, I'm a psychopath. The Psycho series has been creeping up on me recently because finally I've had a little bit of downtime and I'm like, wow, that all happened. It's like life is finally catching up with me where I'm, I'm, I'm realizing what happens over the last few years because when you start blowing up on YouTube, it, it's all one big blur and it's insanity. Um, so yeah, guys, I know this is, uh, like I said, it's me diary of the mouth. This is all straight from the heart. Um, so what this means is Jesse Bank of the Day, 
He did videos once a week. I did the game series, I did Rule 19, and I really crafted them bitches. I made sure they were good. I made sure they were perfect. I was real anal about stuff. When I was doing the Psycho Series or other stuff, I was anal, but I could only be so anal because I had to get this video out in like three hours. It was like impossible to have anything good. Um, I love skits like Blindside and Random Patterns Emerge and the Super Mar Mario Bothers trilogy and old videos like that. Like I love those more than my recent videos over the last few years. And I realized I want to get back to that. Although in order to create those, I need to have a few more days of time and uh, think time and, and uh, production time. So going forward, I'm going to pull back my upload schedule. And I'm just going to upload whenever I want. I, I have money, guys. If I was about money, I'd be doing the dailies. I'd be doing the double dailies. You know, I'd be doing five videos a day but i'm not about that i never was i want to make good quality storytelling that you guys can enjoy go back and watch five years from now and, and find it uh, find a new lesson from it or, or, or see it with a different perspective i really want to get back to that and that just me talking about that my motivation is coming back um like i, I need i need to regain myself because right now i feel kind of broken and i need to sort the pieces out um and, and i think you can kind of see that through the isaac character and me talking about my depression in series, this is, there's a lot of truth always behind the expression of the art. Um, I, I have been depressed, and um, you guys, I've been lying to myself saying, I'll be fine, I'll get over it, I, I, you know, it just keep working, keep working. But no, it's kind of like when you injure yourself in a sport, you don't just keep playing the sport, you need to rest it, give it some ice, and then and, and let it heal, and, and I need to heal right now. So. I've been looking at some trips, possibly, that I would not bring the camera on. I just need to unplug, guys. Like, um, I've, I've actually been motivated to Twitch stream a lot, and I've been Twitch streaming, and I talked to every single one of my fans on there. You guys in, in the Twitch stream know, knew this was coming, as we've talked about it before. Um, but I, I'm, I'm really hype about engaging with you guys and talking on the live stream, so I will be live streaming still, and I'll still be, I'll be just as active on my social media as I've been, which is not that much, because social media is a devil you want to talk about the creator and the devil that is the devil um but yeah i'm still on there guys there will be some rebranding on the channel like i'm gonna change the profile picture the banner is gonna stick around for a bit um but yeah guys schedule is gonna be a little all over the place i encourage you to use post notifications like i said there could be an upload at three in the morning of like a brand new 20 minute skit or, you know, there could be a random two-minute video that I decide to upload. It's just whatever I want and, and just something I'm passionate about because I, uh, I just want to give you guys the best version of myself. And lately, I've, I've been lying. Um, and I, I, I know this happens with a lot of creators and you get burnt out and you just, you're not feeling it anymore. And uh, I have to be honest with you guys, I, I got a lot of buns in the oven, so to speak. I'm working on Storyfire and uh you know i'm trying to maintain relationships and uh I, I you know i'm working on a bunch of other projects behind the scenes and your boy your boy just needs a moment to think and break the fuck down because i missed the psycho series and and uh I'm 24 and I don't know what the f happened to my life in the last few years. So yeah, guys, um, I encourage you guys to subscribe for more content. I also, I don't want to end on this note, but I do, I, I complain about YouTube on the stream. It's just that, you know, the, with, with the whole clickbait nature and what it takes to grow and the algorithm and what I do as a storyteller and some other YouTubers uh, have been struggling as well. It's just like... It's an awkward time, like, sorry guys, there was one cut in the video and it was right there just because I literally just blanked and that's kind of, like, this is me just talking and not giving myself time to think. Sorry guys, I had to check my notes. It's not a script, guys, I swear, I had notes because I wanted to make sure I hit everything and it made sense because, like, for some of you guys that follow me, uh, you know, you guys can be kind of harsh. Not gonna lie, a lot of you guys are awesome and I hope you guys respect it, but some of you guys, it's, it's hard to please you guys because you had... You had a lot of good stuff. You had Uncle Lara going into a swimming pool. You had a kid shooting his dad. You had all this sh portrayed as real. So it's like, it's been hard for me, not going to lie, to uh, fill the void of the Psycho series because that was just a very unique beast, you know, that, that can never be done again in terms of the reality aspect. Um, so yeah, guys, I just want to make sure I hit everything because like the last thing I want to do is upset you guys or to lose your respect or to think like, wow, Jesse doesn't care or he's slacking. Trust me, 
I'm one of the hardest working motherfuckers on this platform, and and you'll never find somebody who cares as much about you guys as as I as I genuinely do. But yeah, guys, I don't want this to be a bad thing. This is very much good news. If you liked a lot of my old work and you just like quality content, then then this is great. But it's just coming down to I guess uh, getting used to the the pulled back schedule. With all that being said, I would just like to look into the lens and sincerely thank you guys for everything that you've done for me. Um, by no means do I want you to feel bad for me. These were all my choices, you know. Sacrificing my health and friendships for work was, was my choice. You guys did not make me do that. Um, it was something I wanted to do. So don't feel bad for me. Um, but, but no, this is also my choice where I feel I need to just, I need to relax. I need to find myself again, find my center, and then get back to making some content that's like really, really something special. But anyway, thank you guys truly for supporting me uh, over the years. I could never have asked for anything... I still tell myself after I got my brain injury from the skit 21 shots for those who have been following the channel for a while I still believe after that brain injury I must have slipped into some parallel universe where my life is incredible but all of that is is thanks to you I, I wouldn't really be much of anything if you guys didn't find me um, so thank you thank you Thank you guys. Um, I will be on Storyfire. So if you guys, if you guys, it's all one elaborate brand deal. You guys want to <laughs> click the link in the description, download Storyfire. I'll be writing some stories on there, hosting some games. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Twitter and Instagram links in the description. Drop some likes on this video, guys. I could really use your support. By no means do you have to. Um, but but uh, no, I'm in a very fragile place right now, and uh, I would really appreciate the likes. That lets me know that you get you give a shit and you want to see quality storytelling uh, really, really in full force back to this channel. I want to see you guys band together like the good old days for your boy who's been trying to push out content and it's hard. Everybody's very critical and it's very difficult for me um, and I'm trying my best here. So please, please show some love and uh, I'll be keeping you updated on the socials. I love you, Jays of Death. Once again, this is a good thing. Uh, I'll be back. I'll be coming back with a fire that's never been seen before. Find me on the Twitch streams, guys. Love you all to death. I'm struggling to look at the camera. <laughs> and don't forget, I can't believe I made this video, to keep it rigid. No tears. No tears. My eyes are, are swelled up right now, but but no tears. This is not, it's not over by a long shot, but uh, this just feel, it hurts for me to do this. I already told you guys that I feel like you know me better than anyone, and I feel, I truly feel a connection to all of you. It's like you're either my little brother, my older brother, my little sister, my older sister. I feel like you're my kids. I feel like you're my friends. I feel like you're my best friends. I feel like you guys are everything to me. So um, I hope I mean a lot to you. And uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Keep your rich, Jace. Sorry, I had to do one last ah! <laughs> That's just how I feel right now. I think Jeff, Jesse Jax actually screwed himself though. All right, well, I watched it. What's my emotions on it? I don't know. It was a very long video. I, I should have just went all the way to the end. All right, well, until next time, guys. I'll see you at the lounge.